Welcome to the Character Chronicles, the people show. Check the post for Rescue Nation. Brought to you by Nebraska Spine Hospital today. I am joined by, well, can you tell them your name? Dakota. And what is the sport you're going to play this evening? You might have the jersey of it on. What do you got on here? A basketball jersey. Oh, yeah, she got her basketball jersey on under her football jersey. She's not even in kindergarten, and she's out there playing with first graders. Her coach called her, and I quote, an, an animal, which I, I think is a good thing. All right, who's your favorite team? Is it Nebraska? A Broncos and Nebraska. Broncos and Nebraska. Okay, I think that's allowed. All right, can we talk a little bit of Nebraska football? Uh-huh. Hold on. What's your second favorite sport? What's your second favorite sport? Is it hockey? Yeah. Yeah, you like hockey? Okay, can we talk some Husker football now? Sure. Wave. Say hi to the fine folks at home. Say go Big Red. Go Big Red. <laughs> All right, here we go. So let's quickly look at some of the stats, give you my three keys to the game, and Dakota and Mom's prediction. And uh, Jacob won't be happy he didn't get his this week, but I'm tired of him beating me. And then I'll give my prediction as well. So real quick, when you look at the stats, Nebraska has the advantage in the rushing offensive st uh, uh, category. Nebraska is 21st in the country with uh, 217 yards rushing a game. Penn State's 93rd at 129 rushing yards per game, but Penn State has the big advantage in the passing game. 286 yards per game passing, 29th in the country. Nebraska's 98th in the country with only 189 yards passing per game. Actually scoring points is where Penn State has the big edge. They actually score 26 points per game on average. We only score 15. That is the distinct edge they have. And a lot of these stats, they've got the edge, but it's not ginormous. That's the one ginormous one. When you look at the defense, Penn State has the better rushing defense. It'll be fun to see their rush defense versus our rush offense. They give up 124 yards per game. That's 31st in the country. Defensively, we are 79th in the country, giving up just over 180 yards per game. We have the advantage in the pass uh, defense, just like they have the advantage in the pass offense. So that'll be fun to watch as well, our pass defense versus better pass offense. We are 48th in the country, giving up 222 yards per game through the air. They're 87th in the country. Defensively, giving up 256 yards per game through the air. So maybe their pass defense versus our lack of a pass offense at the moment could be interesting. I don't know. Hey, you got to find ways to make things even more interesting. Now, when it comes to scoring defense, we're right next to each other. They're 90, we're 96 in the country at 36.5 points per game given up. They're 95th at 36.3. Special teams-wise, I mean, again, we're equally not as great, if you want to put it that way. We're 103rd in the country in kickoff returns, averaging 16 uh, per return. And they're, they average 16.43, and they're 102nd in the country. Where they have a huge advantage in special teams is punt returns. Right, they're 26 in the country at 11 yards per return. That's over a first down. We're 103rd at minus 1.5 yards every time we return a punt. We actually have the advantage in turnover margin. We're 89th in the country. They're 116th. In penalties, we average 9 for 73 yards per game. They average 6 for 65. So it's kind of a wash. The three keys to this game. Thank you for joining me on the show. Okay. Are you having fun? Mwah! We'll have to bring Desi on next week. She wasn't too happy she got left out and her twin sister got a gum. She's a little bit older by six minutes. That's why she's here. All right, so my first key to the game is our, our rush offense versus Penn State's rush defense, which really comes down to our passing offense because if we can't pass the ball, they're going to be able to limit our runs. We have to spread the field. We can't be predictable. That's the biggest thing to watch. Next, I had penalties and turnovers, but we've both been equally not great at that. I don't see that all of a sudden being cured for either team in one game. So number two is tackling. We actually did a good job versus Northwestern, but we missed some tackles, which led to some big plays. If we tackle well, Penn State was very limited against Maryland. We could do the same thing. Last but certainly not least is the red zone. Again, we can move the ball. The stats aren't that different between us. They have some advantages, but the big one is actually scoring. Red zone, okay? They average 26 points per game. We average 15. Can we put the ball in in the red zone? My prediction for this game, I'm sorry, I hope to God I'm wrong, is 31-24 Penn State. All right, Dakota, can you say 27 or 28? 28. To 27? To 27. And do you, do you know what that word is? It's you and mom's prediction. Do you remember? Nebraska. Nebraska. All right, so she and mom have Nebraska winning. I am playing the heel, the villain, the bad guy this week. I just, I hope I'm wrong. Um, but I would like to win one of these weeks in the prediction battle. So I have Penn State. They have Nebraska. All right, Dakota. Can you give the fans at home a go Big Red? Go Big Red. 
Go Big Red. Should we do the chant? Go Big Red. Go Big Red. Go Big Red. All right. Can you throw the bones? Can you wave? Can you say bye? Can you say have a great day? Have a great day. All right. Thank you for joining us. All right. Until next time, Husker Nation, go Big Red. And always remember... To play your bones. Thanks again to our sponsor, Nebraska Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, when it's your spine, you do not want to mess around and experience matters. That's why you can trust the experts at Nebraska Spine Hospital, the region's only spine-specific hospital. They are the best at what they do.